call this meeting on I can fiscal report to order on the 27th day of April 2021 at approximately 5 uh, o'clock. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Larry Morphew to lead us in a prayer and a pledge to the flag. Lord, we just come to you tonight thanking you, Lord, for the many blessings. God, you're so good to us, and we just thank you for keeping your hand upon us. Lord, we're praying that you will take care of this COVID and get us through this without any more lives lost, Lord. And God, we just pray for the ones that's, that's suffered through all this. And be with us tonight as we conduct business, and that we would do it in pleasing to you and in order. We just ask you to lead God and strength us in Christ. Amen. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Amen. Before you have the uh, minutes of the uh, April 12th meeting, uh, I would like to have a motion to approve those minutes. So moved. Motion by Larry Morphew. Second. Second by Larry Camp. Uh, is there any discussion, corrections, or additions? Any discussion, corrections, or additions on the minutes? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. The minutes are approved. Uh, you also have with you there your bills, claims, payments, and transfers. Make a motion to accept. Motion by Jason Bullock. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Uh, is there any discussions on the bills and claims? That was the old one there. Yeah. The one that's this one. The light. No, that's this one. We got a light. Light gray. So why was this in my pocket? Because I don't think it's so. I think you got red. You don't the other one. Oh, did you not have them? Well, this one was April 12th. Just had an extra we printed those last meeting. I think that was from somebody left it from last week, yeah, okay. I guess. I'm going to say I don't approach those. <laughs> Do I have a motion and a second? Is there any discussion? More time. Is there any discussion? Yeah, the bill yeah, claims? The Being none, Miranda Rope Call bills and claims, please. Barnes? <laughs> yes. Johnston? Yes. Town? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. The bills and claims are approved. Next, we have Ordinance 2021-3, Budget FY 2021-22. Uh, I put that up for your approval, and so I'll need a second. I'll see. Second by Larry Kemp. Uh, any further discussion? Not roll call it Miranda. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. The first reading of the uh, budget amendment, uh, budget ordinance is passed. The goal is to have this to uh, Frankfurt and back for us to uh, approve it one month from now, the fourth meeting in May. Uh, so that's our goal. I think it's doable, don't you, Ann? Mm -hmm. And just prior to that, we'll have another, we'll have to come in a little bit early for that one to talk about, uh, about it. Uh, uh, I messed up on Travis Robinson's presentation. We'll get it right for the next time. He'll be at the next court meeting. He has a legal issue to talk to us about in closed session, and that's not the way I had it down on the paper, so he's gonna come by. Um, we have wage committee recommendations. I'm gonna call on Joe Barnes to talk to us about that and make the motion. It's, uh, it's about our salary employees and the, uh, the uh, vacation time. And we all got a packet on that and uh, how we're gonna conduct um, you know, taking a vacation 
we've, we've talked about this a couple different things and we've gone over this scenario. So y'all got it in front of you and uh, this is what the committee's come up with. Okay. I'll make a motion to accept the Lynch Committee recommendations. Second. A motion is set. Is there further discussion? Uh, we did, uh, we have talked about this in committee. Uh, so, uh, and it, since it related to the budget, it was talked to about it in our budget workshop. So, is there any further discussion? Being none, Miranda, look. Barnes? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Count? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. I just got one question that pertains to vacation. When they, uh, do, like who asked first if there's a bunch once off at the same time, there's the first ones, is that how they let people have their vacations? It actually hasn't been a problem, but I would say yes. Seniority is what they have yeah. to take within the departments. Yeah. Right, you right. Copy that. I have a copy. No, I'm asking that the people. Oh. Just, I think we've pretty much just left that up to the department. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't heard about any kind of problem. There's not been one ever brought to me <laughs> with that. Well, in right. any of our departments, there haven't. But I, I mean, I don't know. But so the real moment problem would be like the parole department, they was chipping the seal or something, and about three or four of them wanted off the same time. That would, yeah. right. The supervisor would have to right. handle that. I did like Joe and Joe's recommendation where you talked about people that come back three consecutive years seasonal help to bring them up to class two right. pay. I thought that was a good idea. Yeah, I did too. That's a good idea. Uh, we have the clerk's standing order. Uh, I want to, she's not here, but I think that's the same thing that we do for fiscal court on standing order. It's uh, we pay repetitive bills. The number nine and ten is not clerk and sheriff. That's our standing orders, and there's only one of them. It's the same as it is every year. Our standing orders. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, no, it's okay. So nine and ten is one issue. Do what? Nine and ten is one. Though. In our yes. issue. Not it's our standing. It's like our light pay light yes. bills. Yes. Like, I'll make the motion to accept yeah. that. No, it's not the clerk. It's the county. It's the county. The yeah. county. Uh, it's our utility bills, yeah. Um, yeah. payroll, health insurance, loan payments. Yes. The, the 20, 21, 22 standing orders for utilities. Yeah. Joe, would you second that? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. Any more discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, last time it passes. We pay those anyway, the sheriff and clerks. They kind of don't they come out of Yeah. Yeah, they come out of our. Uh, then we do have a copy, too, of the clerk's list of the delinquent property tax to give that to us, we'll need to, uh, we'll need to notice that we got it. Need a motion to that? Yes. Judge? Okay, so moved. Motion by Larry Cam. Second for acknowledge, it's just a knowledge that we got. Yeah. Second by Jason Bull. Any discussion? Big none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, motion approved. Uh, we have there from the Sheriff's Department, he's declaring some more property. Did, uh, did we? As far as I know, those other ones, they had never gone on the good deals. They didn't? Well, they did? Yes. Okay. He said, the folks said he's okay. saying. Yeah. Where is the, where is the, where is the where I'm looking for it. I, I know I have it. Huh? They said they, it went on last week. On your agenda. When does it go up? Behind your agenda. Yeah, I found it. Behind your agenda? Yeah. Huh? Thank you, Larry. Okay. Well, when I called the last time, because it's been a while since we've had that meeting. And they still had to put it on. Yeah, that, it took a little bit. Okay. Well, I had several people. they had to clean up some stuff around there and get it all out. Okay. Uh, but he's got that, this list here, and we need to declare that surplus so he can. So moved. Motion by Larry King. Second. Second by Larry Morphy. Is there any discussion? No discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. It passed. Motion passed. Um, uh, the Ohio County Extension Office has uh, submitted their budget to us. And uh, 
it's we don't really have to prove it we just got to know that we, we got it and they told us about it it's four hundred and eleven thousand three hundred thirty two dollars uh, what was it? Is it similar to very similar the they, they didn't take an increase or anything not this time <laughs> within the last five years we took the increase twice the four percent of course that's such a small part of the county taxes anyway that it's not been noticed and uh, when you do the four percent you've got to have a public hearing and nobody's ever came to the public hearing on that little bit of increase i'll just make a no motion to acknowledge that we received the ohio county extension office budget motion by jason bullock 21 22 second second by larry town to notice that we were presented with the uh, county extension board's uh, budget uh, any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like that. Pass. There are they all the ones that were sent us with a budget like that? No, we can get some the, from others. Yeah, library. We yeah, we got them, though. Yeah, library, Soul District, they always come present their yeah. soil conservation. Yeah. Does. It's smaller than this one. Uh, which one you guys started on the I know, I remember. Jason was on, I was on the Health Insurance Committee. I don't so, have my paper because they, let's see, hang on. But we've talked about that. Uh, it's basically, this is the insurance plan the committee looked at. It's through Anthem. It's, um, there's two options. But this, the, uh, there's a free plan that the county will pay for each employee. And then there's a buy plan that's uh, $15 for employee. But these plans also offer a um, employee spouse, employee children plan, and a family plan with the prices here. And you saw the prices in the committee. Um, the difference this time, we used to give a $500 card. So it's an HRA card, is what they're called, or something, a health savings card. <clears throat> with the free plan, the deductibles went up, but you're going to receive a $2,000 card. Okay, and that is free for employees each week. Um, now, if we go over to the buy-it plan, um, it's $15 a week per employee, and then it goes on uh, 80 for employee spouse, uh, employee child is $59 a month, family is, or excuse me, a week, and family is $157 a week. Uh, but this one is a, it gives you a $500 HRA card, health savings card, but the deductible is a lot smaller. Uh, so. Um, that's if you want to pay the up plan, you know, you're not going to be out as much. But for somebody who doesn't go to the doctor traditionally, we our workforce and said does not go. Uh, maybe 40% almost doesn't use their card. The $500 card they had with the $2,000 card, most people is not even going to even get into deductible. So uh, unless they had a major health, you know, cancer or an accident or something, they could get into that. That's something they need to know. But what we're presenting is that we accept these two plans from the insurance committee uh, for our employees this year. There is a, a little bit of cross increase, but we talked about how to pay for that in the um, budget committee. Um, the one thing we're looking at this for, and we're, we got away from the family and the child plan, is that we're trying to, it's a recruitment, I guess you would say, for employees to that need insurance for their child or need insurance for their family that we offer that here and you know compared to the schools or some other plans if you look at the uh, weekly uh, monthly cost it's not that far out of line for most other people so uh, I would like to make I guess go ahead and put a motion up I'd like to go ahead and put a motion up that we accept the new insurance uh, plans both plans through uh, Anthem I'll second second to Joe Bond Motion by Jason Book, second by Joe Barnes to accept the uh, insurance plan as presented. And I will say that we had a representat representative from each department come, mm -hmm. and every department was in favor of the new plan. They were, they kind of liked it. So we're, we're glad that, that that's what the health insurance is for, is our employees. Yeah. Jason, do we have any kind of uh, commitment we have to for so many years or whatever? We, we don't have a commitment, but we did say between, there is no commitment or right hand, but we would like to try for three years. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can look at it for a year and see what we're Yeah, if it doesn't work, yeah. we can bail right. out, but we're, yeah. we, we would like to try to commit for yeah. years. That we don't have to commit. Kind of get a yeah. little bit better basis. Yeah. 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 Is yeah, that the only one that's submitted or did? Uh, 
Well, we looked into uh, some of the state, the main one was with the state. So. Well, really, um, <coughs> there's, really there's only two health insurance companies in Humana, Kentucky, Humana, Humana and Anthem. Yeah. And Humana was with the state. Theirs don't renew until um, they get the rates out in September. But their rates, but the they're not any better than these. Different. State, like the school system, we use Anthem. Yeah. Look, yeah. We, but the and retirees, I think, have Humana. Yeah, and you do have to um, commit to three years with that. With, 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 with what? The, the, the one state. We're Oh, with the state, we have to pay for this. This one, we don't have to. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to look at it here and see where we're at and see how it's fared and, and then make a decision forthcoming. So, okay. Thank Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. No other discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. <coughs> uh, Justin, you going to explain to you where you'll, you'll need to uh, uh, load on and allow me to sign a deed when it's received that's going to be used by the uh, Bill Monroe Foundation and, and then maybe later tourism. But uh, Justin, would you go ahead and explain what the motion needs to say? Yes. Thank you, Judge. Uh, I present to the court for motion uh, and signature of the judge uh, acceptance of a deed from David Franklin Hall and Marion Annette Hall. Uh, they're husband and wife and they have, uh, are deeding a tract of land uh, which looks to be by the description possibly about a quarter of an acre with a house on it too, the Ohio County Fiscal Court, and for the judge just to sign the deed. They have not yet executed the deed, but we assume that's going to be in the in the very near future. Where, so, where is this at? It's uh, I think it's right by the uh, the. Uh, is that the little house there, Rosine Cemetery? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. It's so moved. Judge. Motion by Larry Camp. Second. Second by Larry Morphew. Is there any discussion? Being none, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, like sign. Motion carries. Have one personnel issue, and it has to do with the custodial deal here. Uh, we have a uh, temporary employee uh, that will be moving into uh, the job of someone we're expected to retire in a few months. And so, though so that he's here, I'm going to change uh, Josh Peach in custodial from temporary to full time at a rate of $11.32 an hour, uh, effective April the 18th. Uh, and uh, that's basically, we're going to be actually spending a little bit less in that department of what's going on. He, he was hired in to take up the slack for COVID and then he will take the place of the person. Do you need a motion or a second? Uh, uh, just need a roll call from Miranda. Barnes? Yes. Johnston? Yes. Cowan? Yes. Morphew? Yes. Bullock? Yes. <coughs> okay, we're going into committee reports. I'm going to start this out with a bang on committees. We're going to ask for some reports. I'm appointing a new committee called the Broadband Committee. And its uh, charge is going to be to look in what it takes so that we, the fiscal court, can be sure that we get what we should from all the billions of dollars that have been fed in federally and by the state that Ohio County is not left out of this. And uh, look at, at, uh, at that. Uh, it's a pretty broad statement, but this will come together as, as you start looking into it. The committee will consist, consist of Dustin Bratcher, Justin Cam, Jody Ashby, Jeff Morris, and Larry Cam. Now Jeff Morris uh, owns a technology company in Horse Springs and would be very knowledgeable of not only the needs of, the, of it, but the, the mechanics, if you will, of broadband. So that's just appointment of a new committee. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and ask for other committee reports. Of course, Joe's already give the, uh, well, uh, I probably ought to go ahead and back that a little, little bit more. more. Oh, go ahead. Well, the way that was that on the agenda, I didn't realize it was going to be the report, so I briefly just did it real quick. But uh, on that committee report, we recommended that we did the wage scale that reflects a 1.4 CPI uh, wage increase to be effective July the 1st. 
And uh, of course, this was the uh, wage committee that we had, and we did a, a Zoom meeting. Um, and then uh, we did away with a, a clerk uh, three scale that was on our, because it, it was just actually a little bit too much redundance. And uh, we reset the, uh, the uh, payroll for the HR because we're doing that a little different. Uh, they're still gonna be doing HR because uh, paperwork and everything, but the uh, actual administration of the uh, discipline and everything, the HR will be done by the department heads as right now, we're gonna give that a try. So we actually reduced that salary a little bit, or that, those wages. And we did the, uh, on the, anyone that was on a salary, uh, they're, they're on a weekly salary. There's a few years, and how's that work out? Is it, they get, there's actually three, 53 weeks in, the, in yeah, a year? about, it happens, let's say every six to eight years, you'll have 53 pay periods <coughs> in the year. So those people that are on an annual salary, they're either going to go a week without pay, or their pay has to be adjusted down. Yeah. And we, we just have one like a year or two ago. We just had it. Yeah. 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 So look, you know, we we were doing a reason their salary based and divided by 52. So they'll, they'll be paid for every week. You won't you won't end up with a a week because of that oddball year yeah. that someone didn't get paid. And it's an issue. And then. Um, then on the vacation, which is actually what I went into earlier, that's the only thing we actually changed on that, on administrative code. It was the salary employees, uh, once they kind of topped out on their vacation, instead of being able to be paid out, they are, they need to take their vacation or they'll lose time. So that was the only thing that was actually changed on the vacation. Any questions on that? And then, Followed in your packet is all the uh, weight skills actually that's set currently. Uh, also, on that, uh, Joe and Larry, I'm going to do the spray committee report. I know y'all thought. Yeah, uh, me and Larry have been on that uh, committee about spraying in the county, and we met with Nick Woolen. And what we ended up doing, the, uh, we was going to have a meeting, and it was actually the week that y'all went to uh, uh, on one of the conferences. <laughs> uh, we decided to go ahead and order the spray and, and, and start seeing how effective it was. So they're out there, they're going to do the uh, 2,4-D, which actually takes care of your general weeds, your horse weeds and everything. And they had recommended, we had talked to several different people, that in May we'll start spraying the fusillate, which should uh, be a retardant for the uh, Johnson grass. <laughs> and actually our, our weeds, it acts as a retardant too. So we've talked to a bunch of several experts and chemical companies and you know we've gotten to the point where now it's just, what's, what's the proof in the pudding? Just go ahead and start spraying and see what, uh, what works the best for us on our roads. And the biggest thing is, is we need to just go ahead and get, it, get the spray administrative while it's uh, still spring. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The Johnson grass is just now starting to grow and you know seeing it uh, actually uh, just jumping up out of the ground in a few places so and that's what you want they said you want to wait for it to come up but you got to get on it and spray quick while it's still young sounds like a good so I appreciate your effort on the committee uh, Jason has your uh, well, well, they did. Uh, and I was going to ask Dustin because I wasn't. With my new schedule at school, we have a new lunch plan because we're keeping everybody separate. So we've got two different locations. I've been working lunch duty a little bit too. So from 10:30 to 12:30 every day, I'm there at lunch duty. But they met uh, last. It's is it? I think it was last week. Last week. Could you, do you, do you mind, because I know they've got a lot going on with Shark Tea, could you give us a little bit? Uh, they are, they have put together a, a t-shirt that they might be using to give away and to perhaps purchase online. Uh, we're trying to lock down kind of a date for the same type of event that we had out at the park uh, last year, thinking September. Uh, I think it was in September. That's right? what it was last time, yeah. yeah. And so that that's kind of where that's kind of what we discussed mostly was was 
uh, figuring out how to to deal with the, the shirts that we might want to give away and if anybody wants to buy them. Uh, and then uh, setting a date and setting up everything for that uh, uh, event in September. And that, they've been meeting regularly. You know, like I said, I've been, right now 12 is not a good time for me. And uh, they're doing a good job. I appreciate their work. That's going to appreciate that. And as far as the insurance committee, you know, we, we're done meeting, I guess, now since we voted on, thank you, voted on the insurance plan and did a lot of work on that. I appreciate her and the other people. And uh, I guess our next committee will be the one-up committee. We're waiting. We got the results from uh, the survey results. So uh -huh. now that we have insurance out of the way, that might be our next meeting. So not a date for that yet, though. Larry, you want to tell them real quick about our meeting we had with the judges the other day? Uh, yes, the judges. We had a uh, Zoom meeting with uh, judges. Uh, Justin County Attorney was uh, present. Uh, we talked with the lady. David, help me out on her name. <laughs> Frankfurt. Uh, I, I've lost. Justin, can you help me? I can't recall her name. Well, but anyway, it, she, was, she was very informative and... Uh, Meredith. 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 Uh, but it came down to her conclusion as well as ours, and we knew this was uh, probably coming about, and we've done feasibility studies before. But before we can get the ball rolling whatsoever, we're going to have to have a feasibility study. And judges, that's something that... Uh, and the way we feel like it's fair according to Edmondson County they have what 25 to 30 uh, uh, prisoners at any given time or jailmates at any given time um, Butler County has somewhat more but we had twice as many so we thought it would only be fair if we paid 50 percent of the uh, feasibility study so but having said that uh, judges that's something we want to uh, put forth the motion that uh, we uh, we want to start the uh, feasibility study. Start we, shopping for somebody. We'll start it. shopping because in the past we've got people from engineering groups that want to uh, they want to do the feasibility study, but they also expect that they get the job when it when it comes down the pipe. Uh, but we want an independent uh, evaluation from uh, someone that's independent and has no uh, uh, has no nothing in the game or that uh, they could be more independent, hopefully give a more outlined feasibility study is what we want to see and what was disappointed in the last ones Very that, yeah, that came across. So, uh, but anyway, on that note, I think it's a real productive meeting. Uh, seem like everybody's still on board. Uh, judges, is something we want to do about the feasibility study tonight or do we want to wait till later? Well, I think we've still got a look into Grayson counties um, who they may have um, used we're not necessarily real sure on the price yet so if it's in excess of the 30 we'll have to bid it if, so if we uh, okay, that's probably that's a good, very well point no, I have to prove it in the court will need to prove it we're hiring by anyone yeah. Yeah. Uh, but I think it'd be fine for the committee to start shopping did we uh, did anybody touch base with Grayson County as Justin has alluded to uh, about who they got and we need to get them started heaven but I would think I think Charlie was going to talk to him. Charlie I don't know if he has yet or not but okay. I'll, I'll make sure that uh, that that's done okay that's that's all I have on it and we'll just continue to bring the court up to date as, as, as things happen okay thank you any other committee uh, report if not I'm going to tell you real very very quickly this time on our COVID-19 uh, report we are doing we are showing some improvements we're having well, Average about one a day, uh, new cases that keeps coming on, and our positivity rate is held steady. It hasn't gone up any. Uh, there are fewer people being tested. Of course, the vaccinations have gotten to be a play a role in it. Uh, the last time I told you, we were afraid we would get a Easter and a spring break surge. That didn't happen. We, you know, we figured that that didn't happen. So uh, there are parts of Kentucky that's got a little bit more of a problem and there's parts of the nation. But as far as us in this seven county grad area and Ohio County, uh, we're, uh, we're, we're getting better all the time. Good. You know, on that dashboard scale, uh, that's state map, you know, mm -hmm. we go green, yellow, red, orange. 
we were down at one point had gotten down in the green was the fourth lowest county in the state of Kentucky at one point. We're only at three now in the yellow, but still really low. We're, we're, we're doing well on that. Uh, let's just go to Master's comments and, and uh, uh, Jason, if you would go ahead and bring up your road. I do. I, the, it's been two meetings back. We didn't do it last uh, meeting, but uh, I, I brought up about Caroline and Wayland Lane. There's two lanes right out uh, close to Minute Mark. They, you did say they went out and, and yes, viewed it today. Yes, exactly. I would like to go ahead and take. I don't have the measurements. I don't have the papers with me, but um, we'll put them in. And what she has them from last time. But I, did we need to accept them as two different motions? Uh, no, I'd say one motion, but name, put both names on. Okay. But what this actually is, it's one road and it just changes the name. And what it does is it makes a ninety degree turn, yeah. and he wanted to. They have one after his grandson and one after his granddaughter. So what it goes is it goes back, it makes a 90 degree turn. And he said eventually maybe someday they'll go forward with that, but he, that's what that's why it's two different. Caroline like, and what was it? Waylon, which Wayland. is uh, like Waylon Jennings. All right. <laughs> so these are two new roads, Jason? Yeah. What's the, how long are they? I think together they're about seven or eight tenths total together. And uh, the yeah, main committee. That's once three, four, once three, once four, something like that. She has to measure exactly. We measured them. Okay. Uh, we went out there and drove them. Jason, did they meet the criteria for uh, taking a meeting? Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember, he came to actually one meeting. He said, probably one of the best spaces we've ever had as far as taking in the county road. Do and you when Keith was on. That? Do, what? do you need a motion? Yeah, I'm going to make the motion to go ahead and to take uh, Caroline and Waylon. I'll yeah, say. And the committee come back and Right, but no, we'll talk today. Yeah, assuming that all the, the paperwork has been prepared and then she's got all the easements. Is there something wrong with them? Okay. We got all the easements from all the landowners out there. Okay. Assuming all that's correct. Then. Yeah. And the viewing committee will, uh, viewing committee's report will be attached. And we actually made him widen the road. We made him, uh, so Keith went out there and, and actually twice and met with him and made him put more rock on it. And, he, he did a really good job of working with us. That's great. Uh, any more discussion? Being none. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed like sign. <coughs> okay, anything else, Jason? Uh, that's all I have. Job. Thank right. you, guys. Can you send me that stuff if you don't care? Uh, yeah, Judge, I just have one request. Uh, again, Charlie's not here, but I was just concerned still about the uh, siren in Fort Hill. Uh, I got the report. <laughs> They're all fixed but that one. And they're waiting on something from the fire department there and it's supposed to happen any time. Okay. It's I paid for. Yeah. Uh, did, did Rockport get fixed by that? I, I understand it is. I haven't been under here, but I understood it went off last Friday on the test. But they haven't tested for it, though, have they? Or yeah. They, it but it's happen. not a working. No. Right. Yeah, I mean, okay. you can go out there and it'll work, but when it, in the system, something happened in the computers or something, they didn't kick okay. it in last Friday. So Charlie's, he's working on it? Yes. Okay. That's all I have, Judge. Larry. I just got a couple roads that needs to be worked on. I'll get with the road form, and I thought we would be here tonight. Now, he's already went out and surveyed, going to work on Salem. And uh, that was a by Salem. That's all I got. Justin, yes. I mean, uh, Justin? No, that's all I got. No, no, Judge. Thank you. All right. If anybody else has anything for the good of the body, if not, this means adjourned. See you in two weeks. Now, you know the one that's down.